peacock, I wanted to show you a mental invasive decompression of a neuroma a patient that's having chronic pain related to a Morton's neuroma. Now, in mental invasive surgery, we do uh, two different types of procedures. One of the procedures we do is we decompress the neuroma and we do osteotomies on a third and fourth metatarsals. Some patients you can just get by with just doing a decompression. Those patients, you first look at their foot type. You see this patient has a rigid rear foot when in neutral position here, and her CERN perm level of her first ray is equal. So she has a rigid rear foot and a flexible forefoot, but she doesn't have a hypermobile first ray in any way. Also, another thing that allows me to know that I can probably get by with a decompression here is if you look at her metatarsal parabola, this is on this C arm here, you can see her third and fourth mets are not long. On a lot of these patients have wrong will have a, a fairly long third and fourth metatarsal. In those patients, you're going to have to address the osteotomy with a third and fourth mat. Also, we've got an X-ray over here. It's going to be a little dark on up here, but because uh, we have lights on the room, but you can see her metatarsal parabola drops down fairly quick here, so she doesn't have a long third and fourth metatarsal. This a procedure. It's a fairly quick procedure. All you really need for this. Uh, as your C-arm, of course, you'll need a 6400 blade or 64 blade. And I use this little elevator as well to make sure I'm through the ligament. So the procedure goes pretty quick. You can also use just this one instrument. It usually uh, allows uh, for just one suture. So it's a fairly quick surgery. So let me show you what we do. Uh, we've got the patient numb, of course, local under local. I said this is in the office. Still doing sterile technique. Uh, we basically take our C-arm and get our exact positioning uh, where we want to kind of start the procedure at. Uh, I'm engaging, I got my incision, we'll start right on the, right behind the metatarsal neck area, right here on the third metatarsal. You look up the C-arm and see that. Uh, this area, we just want to just make a punch right down to the metatarsal, following our C-arm, moving right beside the bone, not into the lumbrical. And basically, you just take your hands, if you look at my hands, and you sweep forward, clipping the ligament. So it's a real fast surgery. You can feel the ligament give as you go. You want to follow that up all the way up to the toe. And you can see on the C-arm, you see where I'm at the toe here? So it's just a one sweep through. Then you can take the blunt side to make sure you're through. It goes pretty quick. Now to make sure you're, you're, you're done with your surgery, you can also take, especially when you first start, and take a little elevator, go right down directly where you just uh, made your little stab incision. It's so small sometimes you can't hardly get this part in there. But then you come, come through where you're at and you can feel if there's any ligma left. And you can see in her case, uh, if you look at the C arm here, you can see I'm totally free. See how I'm, I'm able to sweep this back and forth on there? So I know I'm totally free of the ligament.